Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome in this lovely Tuesday morning. It is wonderful to see you all again. Um, I hope that you all had lovely weekends and that you guys ended up having some encouraging Mondays. So, one of the things that I have learned this morning is I have learned a lot more about the color splash loading screen um, because I had never watched it for more than about 10 seconds. I was always really excited to play the game and I've certainly never watched it for five minutes straight. It actually goes on loop and that's really cool. And so that's something I wanna share with you guys this morning. So initially the screen starts um, in black and white and then it gets filled in with color and then Mario comes on and he starts slowly collecting some coins using his paint hammer to fix some stuff. Like, look at how cute this is. Now Peach is wandering in. And we've got we've got a little flower still missing there. Let's, let's look. Let's look. And so now they're about to go and Mario's like, oh no, no, I need to fix this first. And so then we wander away. And we have this lovely music this whole time. And I'm like, cool, what are they going to do now? And what they're going to do now is it's nighttime. And they like slightly modulate the music and then we have some shy guys show up and the shy guys in this game are like the main bad guy chat in case you missed like day one of this game and then and then they pull out their straws and they totally reset the screen and I just thought that was fun. So thank you all for coming on this journey of the starting screen today with me. I had a lovely time. Anyway, as I had said, welcome in this Tuesday. I'm Lady QW. I am currently doing a casual playthrough of Paper Mario Color Splash um, just to share it with you guys and to get to be excited about a game that I just discovered like a month ago. I know this game has been out much longer than that because it is for the Wii U, um, but I didn't know, I didn't know how, how cute it was. So let's explore. Um, again, I do have uh, below, you might see that I have two cameras. Hello. This is kind of like a hand cam. This is basically my Wii U gamepad where there is some gameplay that happens. And so I wanted to make sure you guys could see that too. So what we did last time is we showed up at Port Prisma because a colorless toad was sent in the mail to Princess Peach, and she was a little bit upset by that. So she has recruited us, Mario, uh, to come with her to Port Prisma to try to get to the bottom of this. And right now Peach is just kind of hanging out in in a nice little house in Port Prisma with like her toad retainer that she brought with her. And we're doing some exploring. We met Huey the paint can, he's our new best friend. Um, uh, and as he says, paint is the lifeblood of all creatures in this universe. So let's let's just take a moment to be upset by that, I think. Um, and we now have the power of paint in our hammer. So we can still jump on enemies, we can still hit enemies with the hammer, but we also have paint. So that's what this little meter is up here. This is our paint meter in, in red, blue, and yellow. Um, I've got health down at the bottom that you can't see, and we've got a coin count in the other bottom corner that you can. So. We've been making our way through the world. Uh, we have done some work in Port Prisma. You can see the number there that says 87% colorless spots restored, which is very exciting. And then Ruddy Road, 97% colorless spots restored. What we're trying to do, um, for those who maybe don't know, we've got these little stars that are indicated. There's two stars in Port Prisma, the red one's filled in. Two stars on Ruddy Road, the red one's filled in. So we've collected two red mini paint stars and we are hunting for big paint stars because there is a rainbow fountain in the cent center of Port Prisma. And the rainbow fountain in the center of Port Prisma is supposed to be fueled by rainbow colored paint stars, but they've all gone missing and we don't know why. So this is a mystery. We are here to try and solve this mystery. Um, it should be exciting. It should be fun. Um, it probably is going to be like somewhat difficult. So. Um, there is a purple toad, as you can see, in the ruddy road level. 
This is a rescue toad, the captain of the purple rescue squad. And we need to find their three, I think. There are three rescue squad members um, to climb a cliff. So we can't finish this level right now because we haven't found any rescue squad members. And we can't go anywhere else in Port Prisma because... Eh. So the only place that we can go right now, this is the overworld map, by the way. Port Prisma is a little bit of a hub, but this is the overworld map. So the only place we could go right now is Cherry Lake. We haven't ever been there. There are 0% colorless spots restored and we're missing two stars from here. So let's see what happens if we try to find a Cherry Lake star. Also, please let me know about the music volume and stuff like that because this is a relatively new game to me. So if y'all can, if y'all are having trouble hearing me talk or if you're having trouble hearing music or the game sound effects and I need to juggle some stuff, um, I am happy to try and figure that out. Okay. 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 Whoa, look at that. Oh, that is an airship. <gasps> There's a toad. You saw it too, right? A toad just fell off that airship. He must have fallen somewhere in this lake. I hope he's okay. We should go look for him. Okay, Huey. So that was Huey. Uh, we can access you anytime by pressing up. And he tells us whatever he thinks our next goal should be, which is really very lovely. So thanks, Huey. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Huey. Ooh. Sometimes when you see circles on the ground like this, if you hit them with the hammer, they turn into flowers and or other things. Like you're flipping them over. One of the things that I love so much about this game is the art style. If you like look at the edge right here, there's that like cardboard slip and I love it and so it's kind of like we have construction paper on cardboard as a medium is beautiful okay so um this is a gate uh cool okay those are some coins lovely I'm just gonna collect some paint um let's check this gate oh it doesn't open there's something stuck to the other side. I don't think we can open it from here. So if you look very, very closely right now, chat, like very super closely, you can kind of see right behind Mario and Huey right now, like through the slatting of the gate, there's that tape. We found this tape in Port Prisma and it's very suspicious because it's this like yellow caution tape style, but it says Bowser on it. And so we found that in Port Prisma we haven't seen Bowser anywhere. We're just here because we got mailed a colorless toad and we've seen shy guys who are taking straws and like sucking up color from objects, including toads. And so like, we don't know what's going on, but it does seem as though someone's put Bowser tape on the back of this door. So we really need to get in there. Yeah, we do, Huey. Do you have a solution for me? Looks like he's thinking. We can just get to the top of those blocks. We should be able to jump down the other side. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but um, my jump skill is very small, currently. It's very, it's very small. Wait a minute! Yes! There's a clear line! Alright, Mario. I'm gonna teach you a mind-blowing technique. Watch closely! Okay. There! See this line on the gate? Looks like stairs, right? Yeah, it does. I actually really love that he's just kind of running back and forth along the line as I'm talking. When you see clear lines like this in the world, you can use the cutout technique! What's that? Go ahead, press Y. So I love this. This is one of the things that I love about this game. Because it's a game that knows it has four buttons. Well, it has more than four buttons, but it knows it has like the four main buttons because some of the earlier Mario games, obviously there was only A and B, and so that would be run and jump, that, that sort of thing. But we've got four buttons right now, and so A is still jump, B is still swing hammer, exactly in line with the Paper Mario series, X is use paint with your hammer, which we learned last time, and today we're learning about what the Y button does. So go ahead, 
Press Y. Bam! That dotted line there. That's what I'm talking about. So you see, Chad, how we've got the dotted line now on the screen? Very lovely. We can use this power to transcend dimensions and cut out part of the background. Get cutting, Mario. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to have a camera for my gamepad. Because the cutout technique, whenever you use it, it actually pulls you off the main screen and drops you onto your gamepad screen. So we've got little Mario sitting on Huey right here. He's just kind of flowing in out of nowhere, which is pretty cool. Um, we've stepped out of our dimension. How's my lid feel? Comfy? Uh, sure. Okay, now start from the bright, shining point and trace along the dotted line to cut it out. So we've got a shining point up here. This is also a little pair of scissors and we know we've got a dotted line here. So I'm just gonna trace that. This is one of the only parts, so you might see I use the stylus for a lot of things in this game. Um, I don't have to for most things, but it does make cutouts a lot easier. Like I can, I can tap and scroll cards and flick them with, with no problem at all. But it's a little bit easier to do the cutout when you're not having to use a fat finger like this on a teeny screen like that. So, let's get cutting. We trace the line, it cuts it out with a rainbow. That's some quality cutage. Thanks, Huey, you're so encouraging. And so now we've literally cut out the background here. This flag is the goal, you know what to do. So we've basically cut the top of the gate off to follow that straight line that Huey was tracing here. And now I can actually move around in this weird dimensional background thing. Cut out is the weirdest technique. I don't know, I don't know if I'm I'm making that clear with my explanation because I feel like I'm making it sound reasonable. Um, but cut out is just the oddest thing. So now my jump, which wasn't high enough to clear the blocks, is high enough. So I reach the flag, there's a screen transition, and now I'm just in a totally different place. So if y'all didn't have access to be like watching what was going on on the gamepad right there, that would be mad confusing, because I would just disappear and then appear in a different place. And that doesn't feel like as fun to me as actually getting to watch the process, even though it is kind of on this awkward cam. So hope y'all enjoy the access to the cutout, to the cutout procedure. Learned cutout. You did it! That's the cutout technique! Yay! When you see other places where it seems like you could cut something out, try pressing Y. If you see a dotted line appear, that means you can use cutout. All right, let's drop down to the other side of the gate and look for that fallen toad. So the beginning of Cherry Lake is where we learn our final major technique, which is the cutout technique. So now all of our buttons do something, which is pretty cool and we can continue progressing. And I'm just gonna back up for a second, because when I started stream, stream, I totally forgot to like congratulate Petulant Cobra. Um, so Petulant Cobra, congratulations on being the first viewer to, for the first time this stream and this week, redeem first. So you get to be first today, hooray! And I like just totally forgot to say that, so sorry. Okay, so, Let's go to the back of the gate. Let's peel off some teeth. Bam, look at that. Problem fixed. I also love that that's where the music starts for this. I love the music in this game chat. I love all the music in this game. I think it's wonderful. And one of the things that I've noticed is it tends to use flute a lot. And as someone who plays flute, I enjoy that. So, very exciting. There's a save brick here. Okay, I will save. I enjoy saving. Ooh, I almost missed this. There is a white spot here. Hold on, let me see if I can show it to you better. See? There's a white spot hiding behind here. So we have to make sure, as we are w running through every level, that we are getting real serious about finding little white spots like that, because we need to color this whole world again. 
Also, we need to fight some enemies. So again, just a quick reminder um, as to how the battle system works here. Um, I think I am just going to use, actually, I might use a regular jump. Let's use a regular jump. So it's a card-based battle system. You select a card, you say it's ready, each card is an attack, then sometimes you have to paint it if it's not already painted, because it makes it more powerful. Now we're gonna flick it. And now after that, we still have to input commands. So we still have action commands where we have to press A at the right time. Amazing. So that battle happened a little faster than I wanted it to, so I might like talk over what has happened there. Ooh, our max paint is going up. Delightful. So we have a deck of cards. Just just to just to keep up those those people who maybe have like missed things. So we have a whole bunch of like cards that are just kind of chucked together like this. And they have different abilities. Right now we've basically only found worn out jump, jump, worn out hammer, and regular hammer, but I don't think I have any. And then a mushroom. We found the flowers, but I've stuck them to the back of the deck because reasons. And so we're not we're not using fire flowers and ice flowers right now. But basically, I just have to pick a card and um, play that card. And then I still have the action commands of pressing A, jump, um, you can hit A up to five times to get to that excellent attack, so you can jump on any enemy five times as long as you execute the action commands. And the hammer is more about like amount of damage, so if you get at least a great execution on it, it does like this little shockwave, and that can allow you to damage even when you have multiple enemies. It can allow you to damage some like at the back of the group and things like that. So it's just a way of making the, the multi-combat a little bit better if you have good execution on the attacks, which is cool. Um, and in this case, we were also fighting a Koopa, which is cool because Koopas in this game, um, they retreat into their shells and basically become really hard to damage if you jump on them. But if you jump on them a second time, they actually just kind of get flung across the whole screen and they damage the enemies that are standing behind them. So that seemed like a pretty good strategy uh, for the combat that I was up against. Ooh, worn out jumped three times. Very exciting. Hmm. So I can get back there, but it doesn't do anything. I see. Oh, let's go fix this red spot at the very least. Very nice. Hmm. What's your problem, bud? You don't want to stack up with us? Oh, I bet you think you're so cool being a single shy guy. We're only rolling four deep. We need one more to be a five stack, yo. Enough talk. Stack up, boys. Crips, you ran away. Hey, check out the ratty mustache on this one stack over here. Ha! Looks like your upper lip found a tanuki suit. Amazing. Taylor Avon, welcome in. Oh, I have so many thoughts on this game. Um, personally, and I understand this isn't necessarily a popular opinion, I kind of love it. Um, I have been really enjoying my experience with, like, I'm, I'm very much into the collectathon concept, and this is sort of an inverse version of that, where you're trying to find colored spots and, um, and like, fix the world, it's broken, you need to bring colors everywhere, and I kind of love that. But principally, what I, what, I, what I have been liking the most is the narrative style of storytelling because it very much knows it's a Paper Mario game and I think the dialogue and the narrative like really fits into that concept even though the mechanics have changed. And so I had to learn some new mechanics but actually I think being good at those mechanics and learning them kind of gives you more power spikes at the beginning of the game while you're trying to develop your strategy. So I think it builds well on some of the stuff that the Paper Mario series was known to do and known to be like. And I probably have a few complaints. I, I, I can complain about some of their quick time events, as, as I would often do, because I, I tend to play these games very chill. 
Um, I think principally the thing that I wish I could do is hold more than 99 cards. Um, that would be nice. But, like, really? Do I need that? No. I just... I just like that. I just like that idea. So, I wouldn't say it's a perfect game by any means, and I can totally understand people who don't like the mechanical changes, but I'm still just sort of loving it from a perspective of, like, style of game. And I think it's artistically beautiful. So, I hope that summarized that reasonably well for you. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Back this clown! Oh no! I'm getting attacked! I've been attacked by a four stack. I have not played Origami King yet. That is what I am going to be playing next. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna jump on them, chat. Um, I don't need to paint this card because it's already painted. So we're just gonna flick it and we're gonna hope that I hit all of my jumps. You're speedrunning that in any percent? Good for you. I am absolutely more of a casual player than anything like speedrunning, but like I love speedrunning and the way you can like glitch and learn how to perfect things. So I'm very excited to eventually get to play. Oh boy. I think, I think that shy guy just got like soaked. He's made a paper. It's a bit worrying. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited to eventually get to Origami King. I was saving it because I've been playing through the whole Paper Mario series. So I started with the original on 64, did Thousand Year Door, did Super Paper Mario. So now I'm doing Color Splash and I'll be doing Origami King next. Um, I'm just relatively new to both of these games. Um, I only got Color Splash like a month ago and Origami King I have, but I've deliberately never played it because I knew I wanted to kind of do the whole Paper Mario series. So I'm excited about that. And then I'll get to see what all the hype is about. Up slipper! Yay! Oh my gosh! Chat, this poor shy guy! He's... he's so... he's so wrecked! Oh! 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 Mmm! them speedrun leaderboard charts. Congratulations for a one point holding all of those. And I'm sure, I'm sure you can do some work getting some of those back at least once you're done with, with working through the any percent run. I think it's hard to kind of keep yourself up on everything that you can do in speedrunning with all the categories. I know you're supposed to be the enemy and stuff, but thanks for scrapping those guys. I might be all soggy now, but I'd rather be so soggy than be stacked with them. They say that one guy can't make a difference, that I should just be another cog in the machine. But I don't care what they think, I'm living my life as a single layer of shy guy awesomeness. You know, for a shy guy, you're alright, kid. Oh, scrap! A talking paint can? I must have hit my head harder than I thought. You better take this before I pass out. I'm actually very excited about this. Yeah, it, it would be a lot to defend. Um, so this is where they introduce a battle mechanic that allows you to be more flexible with your strategy. So max cards. Whoa, whoa, what a gift! Your card slot's increased! You can now play an additional card during your turn in battle. So, some of these I think are like somewhat optional, and I don't remember how many total you can get. I knew it at one time. But basically, the thing that you can do to level up your skill in this game, because they give you action commands right from the beginning, not only can you find more powerful cards throughout the game, but you can also earn new card slots so on your turn you get to play more than one attack um and this is basically their way of balancing out how in previous paper marios you might have 
a companion for your turn-based combat, and so something that would allow you to be more flexible about how you took your turn, this is the mechanic in this game. You get multiple card slots. So the one thing that I will caution anyone who is new to this game about, if you put a card in that card slot, it doesn't actually matter if you use it or not during that turn, it will be gone. So if you, like, toss a mushroom into your last slot, but then you kill the enemies on your first slot, you lose that mushroom. You don't get to continue using it. So you do have to be careful about turn order. Thanks, Shy Guy! Wait, where'd he go? Hey, losers, come stack with us. It'll be fun. Not just fun. Studies show that stacking in groups of five can increase HP and lower cholesterol. And I mentioned I like the writing in this game. Oh, look! Two Shy Guy 4 stacks, right on cue. Let's experiment with that second card slot. Set two cards at once and unleash mayhem, Mario. This game knows it's in training mode. So these are four stacks again. Um, and four stacks are not so scary. Because I can get up to five hits. So we're just gonna do two worn out jumps. And we're gonna see if I can beat them. One down. So each jump on a stack gets rid of a shy guy within the stack. And that will be consistently true of anything that we fight that has stacks. Every hit they take, they lose one member of the stack. And then the last one remaining has the health and stats of what that single enemy would be. So that's kind of what informs the strategy. Um, I'm just noticing something right here. So as with all... I guess RPGs in a sense, but specifically one of the things that I like about Nintendo RPG style games um, is the way that when they teach you something, they actually want to see you use it. So they gave me the second card slot and then immediately gave me two enemies that need multi attacks each to see if I could actually do the battle strategy and I could. It's fine, it wasn't that hard, but it means that they are going to be increasing the difficulty level of enemies moving forward. But there's something else that I just learned today, Chad. I just learned how to use something called the cutout technique. And the way Huey described that was anytime I see straight lines, like oddly straight lines, maybe I want to try it. And so what I'm noticing right now is if you take a look at the end of the dock, just beyond where, the, where Mario's standing right now, there's some really weird straight lines right there. So I'm going to press Y because we've been told if we try cutout and we see dotted lines, that means we can. How interesting. So again, we live on the bottom screen right now, and we're supposed to cut out this little zone right here. So let's do that. So there are places we have learned, like those that are going to be shaped like that, where if we find them, we can get ourselves more cards, which is a really good strategy. So now I have some extra nice jump cards, that's pretty sweet. Oh no, this spot is missing some color, yeah, I love fixing this. Interesting. So I'm gonna fix the color spot first, but I see some little footies. It's the little booties just peeking out of that bush. Anybody else see that? Anybody else? Anybody else have their sights on here? Yeah. And you know, I'm just reminded that we're supposed to be looking for a missing toad. So what happens? Oh. Um. That is not a toad, but that does appear to be a pair of shoes. I'm just gonna pop into the menu to show you guys this because it makes me giggle. This is a key item. We've, we've, just, we've just found a key item. Thanks game. What's our status? 14%. Oh, we have a long way to go on the colorization here. We need, we need more colorizing. We need to get on that. Okay. 
next room. Ooh, that is a Koopa. And as per usual, I like jumping on Koopas, mostly. Do I have any more? Yeah, I have some more Warno jumps. I'm only gonna use one, even though I have two card spots, because I want to know what this does. Nice! So, even though I have two card slots, I don't have to use them both. If I don't think I need them... <gasps> oh, I got a Koopa Troopa card from that. Oh ho ho, oh ho 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 ho. Okay, so again, we're just gonna slide over to the back of this deck here. I've got some cards that I've just been like holding here, not not doing anything with. We're gonna add that to the pile. We're gonna add that to the pile of cards that I'm not doing anything with right now. Okay, red. I do need a little bit more red paint. Ooh, there's a flower here. Um, just so you know, Chad. Oh. Oh, interesting. There's so many ways to go. Just so you know, chat, um, finding things like unflipped flowers does not actually contribute to the colorization percent. I'd like to get through here, actually. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, new type of hammer. Okay, we're gonna hide that, as per usual. It's almost like chat. I know some secrets about things that are gonna be happening in this game at some point. So that was cool. We got to go up there, um, but we can't progress. So we actually do need to go under here. And I, I can tell that I can go back here. So let's try that. Oh. I'm sorry. Is that underwear? I got Toad's pants. Chad, I'm a little worried about this Toad. Because I haven't found the Toad yet. But I have his shoes and his pants. Seems a little awkward, if you ask me. Okay. Let's go through here. Whoop. I almost got attacked by a Koopa. Because I was busy destroying a bush. Oops. Just one Koopa? Well, then I'm only going to use one card. Why would I need more than one card? There's only one Koopa. Hi, Mr. Koopa. That little, little spot. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. So these guys are called soggy guys instead of shy guys. These colors don't run away. I am actually going to use two attacks for this one. Because there's two enemies. So we're learning, chat, and one of the things that we have learned is that shy guys can sometimes just jump out of the water at you. So you're not safe, even if you can't see any enemies. Okay, do I want to do the two for one strategy again? I think. That's the one I'm allowed to use, right? Yep. I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see if I can succeed. I might not, which is fine. Ooh. 
Wow. <laughs> That's the slowest attack. That's so funny. Okay. And why not? Let's do it again. So I did succeed at getting a great hit with the hammer, and so I did succeed in damaging him, but as you can see from the remainder of color, I didn't succeed in getting all of the soggy guy's health. So maybe two jumps or two hammers would have been better, then I wouldn't have had to take damage, but also that's fine. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, right? It's just, it's, it's just not a big deal. Ooh, a jump. How lovely. There's a toad clinging to that tree! Do you think that's the toad who fell off the airship? He looks like he could get blown away at any second. Let's go help him! Okay. Huh. There's a lot of wind right now, chat. There's also a health refill right there. I'm sorry, what? So I can't look at this very long because it slowly blows me backwards when I try, but like, Chad. Chad, look right there. That is a fan. And this is another element that I kind of love about this game. So y'all are gonna get to hear me rant about this now too. Sorry, that was my hand cam. I am I am adjusting. I am readjusting. Um it is not done in the same art style. And this was true as well. At the beginning of the game, when we met Huey, he looked three-dimensionally animated, despite being in a Paper Mario game that's made out of cardboard and construction paper. He looked three-dimensionally anim animated. And this is the same thing. Like, if you look at this fan, it looks three-dimensionally animated. And what happened to Huey? Well, we squeezed him, and he turned 2D. So I'm a little bit suspicious. I'm wondering if I can, like... Oh, this feels dangerous. Hello, coins? Hilarious. Amazing. So I fixed the color spot, but I can't functionally move very well in that area. So I hope there's something to be done about that fan. Oh, I see. This is... this is a dead end. Well, let's take a look. Scenic viewpoint. A mountain view so beautiful. You'll want to cut it out and keep it. I'm suspicious. Because again, we've just learned the cutout technique. So the mountain is interesting because it's not a straight line, which is I think why they gave us a hint for it. Um, but as you can see here, I am able to cut out the mountain, so let's give that a try. You also don't have to be very precise. I think this one especially. Uh, I just, I just reappeared. I just reappeared over on the total other side of everything. Look at this fan. So cool. Wow, and I thought I was your biggest fan, Mario. Thanks, Huey. Weird non-flat objects like this are called things. And just like when I turn flat, these things can be wrung out. So go ahead, press A, give it a good squeeze. Oof. I got a fan. Well, that's good. So I got a fan, and in getting that fan, not only do I have a thing card now, just it's just it's just a fan. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it at the back. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Um, but also that like space flattened itself out. Only I can't use cutout to get back. 
So I think that tape's gonna wind up being pretty important. I'm just gonna do, just gonna do a smidge, a smidge more. Ooh, ice flower. Hello, hello, ice flower. Turn out hammer. Seems good. Just, just okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? Cool. I'm glad we had cutout. So let's go check in on that poor toad that was over here. He seems seems a little stuck. Mario! <laughs> Thanks for the saves! Too bad you couldn't save my dignity. You're the toad who fell from the airship, right? I'm glad you're not hurt, but uh, you seem more uh, naked than your average toad. Oh, my clothes fell off when I fell from the airship. I, I wanted to teach those paint-stealing villains a lesson, so I jumped on their ship. But that thing is faster than it looks. I was hanging on for dear life, and my grip finally gave out. But mark my words, I will deliver swift toad justice to those filthy paint pilferers. For I am the toad who casts light on the shadows of injustice. I am... Dun 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 dun! Justice Toad! Hey, you, Menzel! We've, we've just met, like, my favorite NPC. This, this, this little dude right here. Mr. Mr. Justice Toad. Isn't he cute? This is nice to see you today. Ju Justice Toad? Uh, is, it, is this guy for real? How did he say that with a straight face? I assure you, there is no face straighter! I am the hero the Prism Island needs. But before I can save the world, I'll need to uh, comply with public indecency laws. Um, do you think you could go find my clothes? P pretty please? Justice Toad, huh? Well, I guess we can't abandon you in your time of need. Besides, if you catch a cold, who's gonna save the world? We're on the case. Chat, this is a real side quest. A real side quest in this level where we need to find clothes for this toad. So, gratefully, I already found his shoes. Oh, my overdrive gravity boots. <laughs> Using those, I can harness the power of gravity to stay on the ground. So, they're just normal shoes then. And we found his pants. Behold, the mega splendiferous tights, crucial for protecting my heroic hindquarters. Yeah, those are underwear. You're you're just wearing two pairs of underwear. Huey, I think, maybe isn't as much of a fan of Justice Toad as Lady QW is. But I'm amused. So those were the things that I had in my key items. They're gone now. Because we gave him to the toad. Um, but I think he's probably missing some more clothes because he hasn't come out of the bush yet. So let's see where else we can go. Because we can go this way. What does this say? Yay, giving things away. Inner Cherry Lake. Okay. And then what is this way? Well, a flower. I do you like flowers? <gasps> Ooh, I want this. Yes. Nice. KO hammer. Yes. Let's let's collect a little bit of green. A little bit of yellow. Just just be all be all pink collection y. So what's this way? Because we've got Inner Cherry Lake in the other direction, but we've also got this direction. Oh my. Interesting. So that's a soggy guy. Oh! There is another soggy guy who tried to ambush me. Well, very exciting. <gasps> Ooh, a straw guy. Okay, okay, okay. I have a strategy chat. Because the straw guys are somewhat more dangerous. So I'm going to use the two cards that I have now. I'm going to use a hammer to try to finish off the soggy guy and also hopefully do some damage to the blue slurp 
the blue slurp guy. And then I'm gonna try to finish off the blue slurp guy with a jump. I probably could do it with a worn out jump, but I don't know exactly how much health any enemy has or how much damage I do. And so I just wanna be safe. Just wanna be safe and finish off this battle. So now's when we start seeing one of the interesting aspects of things, which is that like perfect bonus. I get the perfect bonus if I kill all the enemies without taking any damage myself. And so that's something that you kind of want to, you know, aim for. So we're gonna use a similar strategy, only this time we will use our worn out jump for the second one. We're gonna see how this goes. Because it makes sense to me. 697 coins. Because it makes sense to me to want to get as many coins as possible. And so I get more coins from a perfect bonus. But more importantly, there's some missing color here, chat. This is a lot of red. Trying to be efficient. Oh, well, that wasn't great. Neither was that. I'm, I'm trying to be efficient. And we can all giggle at me. Whoa! That was so worth it. Awesome. But I need a whole bunch more red paint now. So I'm just gonna hit some flowers. What's that? Huh. Interesting. Am I missing? Am I missing anything? I'm looking, I'm looking for toad clothes. And I'm looking for paint stars. Sorry, what is that guy doing back there? Look at him! Look at him! He's sucking up the water! That's rude! So rude! Okay. What's behind this one? Nothing. Hey, Koopa. Oh, I just realized I never picked up a heart from the last screen. That's hilarious. Okay. So, chat, I'm going to do something that I know is the wrong thing to do. Just because I think this is really cool and I want you guys to see it. So, we know jumping on Koopas sends them whipping back at enemies, right? And so that seems like a really good strategy in this instance. Because we've got three enemies here. So, just to rehash what just happened, sometimes you gotta stay hydrated. Okay, Menzel, that is no excuse for sucking blue paint out of the water and making the paper water not flow. I mean, it's a little bit of an excuse. So what just happened to break that down? Because this is going to come up strategically way more often than you would think it might. What just happened is I shot a Koopa shell and I lost three health. I could have lost more if I hadn't blocked it, but I knew it was coming. Because the battle scene that we were in had a back. There was a fence directly behind the enemy. And so when I shot the Koopa shell, it bounced off the fence and came back. So it hit the enemies in both directions, but it also hit me. And that is, I think, fantastic. I just love this game. I'm consistently impressed by the like little details that they pay attention to. So if you are ever fighting a Koopa, you need to pay attention to what the scene looks like to figure out your best strategy. I still think that was the right choice. I would trade three health for a one hit on three enemies. But it does mean I socked my perfect bonus. Heartbreaking. I know. I know. I will take this. And this. Okay. So this is a dead end. I can't jump over it, but I see a post with no paint. I also shall be like, Lady Cuba. You're right. I also see a way out of the center section. <gasps> oh, and I see something there, chat. 
Oh, I see something I'm probably supposed to pay attention to. Okay, okay, okay. So you know what? I actually am gonna jump down here. We're just gonna take a look around, make sure there isn't anything that needs to be like colored, but I don't think so. But we can't get to this middle section where we need to be. What are we gonna do? Well, we can get to here. Oops, that isn't what I was trying to hit, but I'll take it. There we go. My angles are a struggle sometimes. Oh my. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know how many hits it's gonna take to deal with this hammerhead guy, so I'm actually gonna do that one. And then I'm gonna pull out a jump card, probably. Why not? Just in case I don't finish all three of them off with three hammerheads, which is possible, because it is a worn out hammer. So I wasted a jump card. I have lost that card now, but that's okay because I think strategically it made more sense. Like if I'd missed some of those hammer strikes, I might have, oh, I got another one anyway. I might have needed that jump. So sometimes it's nice to have that extra card slot just for the security, just, just for, just for feeling safe. I cannot see if there's anything missing color behind this wheel. So I really hope there isn't. Um, nice. I get a mushroom. That's good. Uh, oh, there's a colorless spot right there and I missed it. Hold on. Hold on. Let me double check. Let me double check. Is there anything else on this end that I can get to? No, not on this side of the fence. Okay. And I can't get over the fence. That's fine. Okay. This guy is so distracted getting hydrated. But he's not paying any attention. Just him though, huh? Okay. Yeah. I'll use a jump. Paint it up to give it some power. Lick it over. Just get him right out of here. We don't we don't need we don't need well hydrated shy guys in this. Well, slurp guy, I guess. Okay, so what we learned in Port Prisma was if I do some recoloring, items work again. So hopefully, this will get some water flowing. Look at how pretty this is. Like the water animation is so cool. It's beautiful. So now we have water, okay. So I'm gonna fix this. Thank you. How am I doing at colorization actually? Let's take a peek at our status bar. 80%, okay, that's a lot better. We've improved. So I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I can get across different, oh, do you see that in the water chat? Okay, hold on, hold on. So this water has beautiful reflections. Look at the detail in this. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna pull this out because it is obviously a vest. This is, this is definitely Mr. Justice Toad's shirt. I got Toad's vest. Woo. And I see something and I'm, I'm just going to presume because I was down there and there wasn't anything there. So I'm going to presume that is a reflection and that I need to go over this way. Huh, I think I can jump over the fence if I leave that here. So I think I might just leave that. Um, we're gonna fix some more of these colorless spots. Gosh, I need more red. That's okay, probably. Okay, okay, so we fixed, we fixed some colorless spots. That's really lovely. And then we're gonna go Oh, never thought we'd find a blue mini paint star in a place like this, but it's too far away to reach. Huh. 
So like I found a paint star, but I can't get it. That's sad. But like, I can't get it. But there's a whole other area that we haven't explored, you know? So I might just have to take a little trip to Inner Cherry Lake to see what's going on in Inner Cherry Lake. And like collect some red paint on the way. Yeah, that's better. That's fine. I know y'all can't see my paint meter, but it was not full. And now it is. So we did find Mr. Justice Toad's vest, which is good. Um, I don't know if he has more clothing, so I might just go this way and see what else is up. Okay, two directions. So we're gonna start, ooh, by getting some money. What's the... Journal of Justice from the Shadows of Darkness. A hero arises to protect those who cannot protect themselves. This hero harnesses the power of justice to strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. Plus, he looks really, really cool, and everyone wants to be best friends with him. When bad guys appear, he fights without fear! Uh-oh. The shy guy is learning from the Journal of Justice. Here comes a bad guy now! Let's see how you like this! Hardcover Justice Missile! Dang, that did a lot of damage. I forgot, I forgot to get my health again. So this is a pry guy. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Um, I think I'm gonna jump on him. And I might, I might just assume that that'll be enough. But I don't really know. Let's, let's see what happens when I jump on him. Oh, he blocked me. Not bad, but try this on, si on for size. Heroic arrow of due process. <laughs> Heroic arrow of due process is amazing. I am a huge fan. Well, no, I have a huge fan. It's, it's, all, it's all the way back here. <laughs> um. <coughs> Let's try a hammer, I guess. What's this gonna do? Okay. That was enough. I think I just didn't, like, he blocked some of the hits from my jump. Oh, interesting. I got the hero's journal. Cool. Okay, how are we doing? Ooh. This is needing some color. I'm impressed. I couldn't see him, but I dodged him. Okay, so I don't think this has a back wall. Um, cause that looks like a lake. So we're gonna just jump on this Koopa and see if we can, we can get him to go away. I really should go back and get that health that I've just been blatantly ignoring and kind of forgetting about. There's a way back there. Okay, okay. There's lots of things to explore here. I'm just gonna... just gonna do a quick little... Hello. Thanks. I didn't really need it, but it's nice to have. I kept forgetting. So. I want to get back there. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I need to fix that spot. Huh, but then there isn't anything else back here. Okay, so that was just for a color, color spot. can't see very well. Okay. Okay, okay. We're fine. 
we're fine. We're still, we're still slowly making some progress. I think I wanna, I think I wanna hit this guy with a hammer. Just get him out of my way so that I can continue exploring. I wonder if one hammer hit is gonna be enough. Well, let's see. I just got an excellent hit. That's lovely. I actually find that really hard to do on hammers. I am not so skilled at some of at some of these things. Ooh, I now have 200 paint. It's like so much more than I started with. Okay, so fix that. I can collect that. <gasps> a red mini paint star? Wow, so Cherry Lake has a red one and a blue one? Okay. So they are very much now driving home the concept that we understand, which is there is more than one mini paint star here. And I can't get the blue one. Oh my goodness. Dibbishide Vissa, welcome in. Happy Tuesday. Thank you very much for redeeming word of the, sh the stream. I'ma butcher this. Durchsetzung Verhigkeit? I love it! German words are great! What does this lovely, I assume, compound noun mean? I I actually legitimately am looking at some of these and going, I don't know where the stresses go. Assertiveness? Ooh. That's lovely. Setsun. Setsun. Oh, umwelts on A's are awful. I am not skilled at them. probably at the end. This is this is a beautiful German word. I cannot wait to write this down. Just hoping I don't accidentally drop my gamepad and like extra webcam in the meantime. Okay, okay, okay. How am I going to fit a delightful word like that on this teeny little chalkboard? It's lovely to see you. I hope you are having yourself a very good day. Look, oh, chalkboard. Chalkboard in the way of everything. Chalkboard struggles for real. My, like, lap real estate is in very high demand playing this game. I only have so many things I can put down in front of me. It's great. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. I've had a little bit more practice at parsing what that one looks like, but... Oh, it has been a long time since I've been in a German class and had some, like, help. Umlaut, very important. Ta-da! Word of the stream, assertiveness, but German. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that is a beautiful word. Very, very pretty. Very pretty to look at that. Hmm, I think my word of the stream is a little far back. I need to redo my setup on my background. Right. Perfect. Okay, so we're now going to assertively uh, check through here and see if we need to paint anything. We do not. Okay. So I feel like I'm getting a bit of a hint um, on this one because again, 
This level is the level where we've learned cutout. So I'm gonna go over here for just a just a quick just a quick second. Very interesting. So that background was moving, but the wheel kept stopping at this part. So if you use cutout, we've got ourselves some flat lines. Which means even though we can't reach the blue red mini paint star, we might be able to reach, or the blue mini paint star, we might be able to reach the red one. How are we doing at colorization? Let's take a quick look. <gasps> Bam! Cherry Lake colorization 100%. That's good to know. So our status is good. Just gonna, just gonna fix that real quick. And we have found two other pieces of Justice Toad's outfit. So I think this is the first time that we're gonna have to go back into a level. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There is so much to collect here. Okay, I got all the coins. That's important. So we got a red mini paint star and it opened up a new level for us. But we know there's a blue mini paint star. We've seen it. And we also haven't fixed all of Justice Toad. Oh, very cool. So there's a little announcement going, scrolling in the corner right now that Cherry Lake's colorless spots have been restored. Um, and I think that might be what the little flag next to the level is. So what have we got here? We've got the Crimson Tower. Okay. We have Justice Toad over here. I can go help Justice Toad and see what happens. So the symbol on this level is different because the symbol on this level is not of a mini paint star. Mario, I can smell a big load of paint beyond that gate. It smells like red paint, way stronger than the red mini paint stars that led us here. The red big paint star must be in the Crimson Tower beyond this gate. Okay. Um. Hello? Huh? Huh? You're, you're Mario. I came here from Port Prison. Wait, why did I come here again? Oh yeah, I came to see the bridge to the Crimson Tower. It's supposed to be a truly remarkable bridge. Any bridge builder with their salt has studied it. But while I was trying to open this gate, some guy snuck up on me with a straw. But then you came along and saved me, so thanks for that. Wait, if you came all the way here from Port Prisma just to see a bridge, are you some sort of, like, bridge builder or something? You better believe it! I'm a bridge builder by trade, a real bridge repair guru. Port Prisma was attacked, and the bridge in the Blue District was destroyed. It's kind of a problem. What? This is an emergency! I have to get back to Port Prisma. Just you wait, Bridge! I'll fix you up real nice, like... Cool? Okay. Uh, good start, because I think that guy is gonna fix the bridge in Port Prisma for us. Which was a problem, because we couldn't, we couldn't get to places. Um, except now, I am curious. Uh... Uh, Mario, look at this gate. Is it just me, or do these kind of look like weird mushroom-shaped keyholes? Maybe the gate will open if we find those three keys. Okay, so the gate's closed. Interesting. So not only do I have, like, multiple things that I can do right now, I, I like, can't do some things, too? This is... okay. Yeah! We're, ju we're just gonna leave. We, we found ourselves a bridge. A bridge builder. Bridge repair guru. Something like that. 
Um, but I, uh, I can't, I can't do anything else in this level. So, ju Justice Toad, or, 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 let's see what's going on here. Hey Mario, remember that bridge builder we met? I wonder if he's fixed the bridge in the blue district yet. I am also wondering uh, that exact same thing, Huey. So, so let's go look. We squint in suspicion. <gasps> well, well! Check it out! I fixed the bridge! It's as good as new! Of course, you never saw it when it was new, so you'll just have to trust me on that one. Please go ahead and cross it. I love to see people enjoy my work. Oh yeah, that was definitely a bridge. We started over there, and now we're on this side. I'm kind of at a loss here. It was uh, really supportive, but I, I don't even have feet, you know? Wait a sec. I smell paint, and not just any old paint. It's a paint star paint coming off a blue paint star, if I am not mistaken. Huh, doesn't look like it's going to be easy to get to, though. How are we supposed to get up on that roof? Well, I don't know about you, Huey, but uh, I'm going to be distracted for a minute trying to fix some of these uh, lovely colorless spots. Oh, I'm so glad the bridge is fixed. I hate to think of how much mail piled back at the office. Of course, with the bridge out, maybe none piled up. Either way, you better come check for yourself, Mario. I can say without bias or hyperbole that mail is the most important thing in the world. The, the sign above the post office seems a little seems, seems a little broken. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's like dead and dying toads here. One sec, one sec. Mail is super important and stuff, but like, gosh, lovely. Hello, thank you. Oh, thank goodness, they didn't drain the ink from my newspaper. Do you ever read the Prisma Times? People claim that newspapers are going extinct, but for my claim, there's no better news source. If you want to know what's going on around the island or where the happening spots are, just ask me. Hey there, Mario. Want to hear the latest story hot off the presses? Just 10 coins. Let's see. Today's headline is Suspicious Thing Found in Harbor District. They call this news? Harbors are a breeding ground for suspicion. Everyone knows that. Okay. So I think we might get hints if we pay this guy coins. That's kind of neat. And what he just told us there was Harbor District. What happened? Did I fall asleep? The last thing I remember was that toad over there blathering on about something in his newspaper. I'm getting sleepy just thinking about it. Kimenzo. Yes. He made me spend 10 coins so that he would tell me the news instead of spending 10 coins by going and buying my own newspaper subscription. Hello, Garlic Grove. How are you today? Oop. There we go. Got him that time. Oh, thank you, Mario. Here, let me offer you a drink. It's the least I can do seeing as how you saved me. I'll just grab you a straw. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about that horrible customer who drained all of my color with a straw. From now on, no more straws for anyone. Drink with your mouths, people. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't outlaw straws because then only outlaws will have straws. Maybe I need a break. The cafe game is too intense here in the city. I need a change of scenery. Okay, so this guy is um, too depressed to offer me a drink. I want to fix this. Ugh. 
Huh, looks like the post office took a little damage in the attack. See, the sun is crooked. Yes, I do see Huey. I have already whacked it with my hammer. What more would you like? Actually, maybe if I hit it from the side. Hey, Mario, great timing. You've got new mail. Yo, Mario, action toad here. I just learned how to do fire flower action commands. Want to come over and practice with me? I'll be waiting in my dojo in the yellow district in Port Prisma. Hurry up! I've got cheese puffs. You know what? That's, that's pretty valid. Cheese puffs are very exciting. And here's another new ladder for you. Exciting! Oh, Mario. It's the owner of Ready Road Cafe. I've got a lot of free time on my hands because absolutely no customers are coming. As usual. Come and hang out sometime. Okay? Your friend, Barista Toad. And here's another new letter for you. Exciting. Okay, so I need to visit the dojo. And I need to visit the Ready Road Cafe to talk to the cafe owner there because he seems lonely. Why am I doing this? I do not know. But I got mail. And it seems rude to just ignore my mail. Aww. Hey, a big bro. It's a me, Luigi. You know, your brother, Luigi, with, with the green hat. Have you visited the Ringer yet? He just opened shop in the Port Prisma Harbor District. He's a bit of a shady guy, but very helpful. Remember, you can always reread old letters. Just open the menu, tap items, and then tap the mail icon. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Toadmaster, but we noticed that your sign is crooked. I uh, thought you'd want to know. Crooked sign? That's a terrible sign. I can't have people thinking this is a crooked business. I'll send myself to fix it right away. Priority mail, Toad. Okay. <laughs> oh, he fixed it. Good job. How's that? Better? Nothing can stop the mail. Not rain, nor sleet, nor hail. There are crooked signs, nor dragon. Well, maybe dragon. But the point is that we're back on the straight and narrow. So, the harbor, the dojo, the Ruddy Road Cafe, we fixed a sign. There is just a lot that has happened in the last, like, couple minutes. Feels like there's a lot to remember. At least we can double check our mail, and that's a good thing. Um, but I'm suspicious of something, chat, because again, we just learned something new. So A is jump, B is hit things with a hammer, X is hit things with some paint, and Y is cutout. And what the cutout tells us is anytime you see straight lines, Maybe there's an option for a cutout. And I'm looking at something right here. Because we've been all over Port Prisma. And we know there's a blue... Well, you can't really see it. So I'll, I'm going to move for a second. There's a blue paint star up there. And the stairs on the other side don't go there. We have to cross water. And there's no bridge up there. So how are we supposed to get to this blue paint star? We've been everywhere else. But when I stand here, we've got the tree, the sign... And the awning? That looks an awful lot like some straight lines to me. Oh, interesting. So I'm right, but I'm also only slightly right. I'm gonna do that again. See how the dotted line, so when the dotted line appears, what Huey basically explained was it, it if it appears and it like matches up with the lines you have on the screen, then you can cut it. And that was too small. See how small that is? And so I'm right that there are steps there, but I think I might be in the wrong place, so I'm gonna back up. And there's one more thing that I'm noticing, chat, and that's that this toad right here, he wasn't here when I went into the post office before the sign was fixed. He's new, so I'm gonna talk to him. Wow, that sign is really straight now, like really straight. It just lines up so well. So I wonder what happens if I try to cut out from now. So it looks as though there's a little bit of correction that it can do. 
but I have to have specific places where I'm standing for this to happen. So we've got ourselves some stairs towards that blue paint stuff. And I'm interested. So as usual, we're now on the bottom screen. We've done a little cutout, created a, a new dimension, and we've been dropped into it. So we're gonna climb these stairs, get ourselves to the goal, and we will reappear on the main screen in a totally different place. Oh my gosh, there are so many things to paint up here. Wow, we're on the roof! Uh, yes. And yes, you're right. There is a paint star right there. Yes, okay. Just a minute. Just, just, just give me, give me a hot minute. Cause like, I have, I have things, I have things to do. Things to do. Okay. Mr. Toad. <gasps> a purple toad. I love purple. Whoa, I got my color back. I gotta get to the old hangout spot pronto. Just, just, he just ran away. Oh, okay. <gasps> I see a blue paint star and I also see something else. Chat! You there! The strong looking fellow with the hammer. You seem as though you've seen a battle or two, which means you must have a battle card or two. Please forgive the intrusion, but might I take a look at them? There was a toad hiding in that window, chat. He wants to take a look at our battle cards. He seems nice. He's purple. He's purple and he's got glasses. Hold on. I have I have an emote. Not a purple emote. Well, I mean, I do have purple emotes. <clears throat> but... Where is it? There. That'll do. You know what? I like purple. I think I'm going to show him my cards. And at the same time, I'm going to show you guys my follower emote. I'm still very proud of these guys. I made these wonderful follower emotes after the battle cards that I have collected. Ta-da! So, feel free, Mr. Toad. Please, take a look at my battle cards. Here you go. Oh, that's ominous. You handed over all of your cards. Oh yes, exquisite. You, sir, have the finest collection of battle cards I've ever laid my stubby fingers on. Bar none. Um, were, were you thinking about giving our cards back? We, we could be attacked at any moment. Yes, thanks, Huey. Great expression. I love it. I just love the number of times that Huey says the words that would come out of my mouth as the player. Of like, hello, get you are the one who asked me to share cards with this guy. What are you doing? We don't have any battle cards to defend ourselves with. What are we gonna do? Chat, what are we gonna do? I love this part. <laughs> Wait a minute. I almost forgot. There is something we can do. Oh, do tell, Huey. Feels to me like this paint can is keeping a lot of secrets from me. Or, like, just forgetting some of the rules of the game. <laughs> battle spin. What is a battle spin? Well, we are, we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn. Look at the gamepad. Okay. Thankfully, we have that. So look down there. Huey's explaining some stuff. I'll read it, because I think it's probably pretty small. Uh, battle spin is the best way to get an extra card in a pinch. We have like this this pink button up there. That is a brand new button. That button was not there before. You can use it once per round, but it'll cost you coins each time. Just tap this button to try it. So battle spin, 10 coins. I can do it once per round and it will cost me 10 coins every time I do it. I assume. Maybe it'll like stack up. I don't know. We'll see. Try it. You know what? I'll throw in 10 coins to help you out, but that's it. I can't be paying for your lifestyle. Well, thanks, Huey. 
So he gives me 10 coins right now. That's very lovely. I have this beautiful flashing warning saying I don't have any cards. Okay, yeah, I know. Um, and I'm going to hit the battle spin here. Oh, interesting. If you want to get fancy, you can pay more coins to turn the cards around or slow them down. Nah, that doesn't seem like me. Let's not. You can use battle spin once per round. Why not give it a try? You literally have nothing to lose. So these cards are going to kind of just go past, and at some point, I'm going to tap to stop. And we got ourselves a jump card. So now I have one card. Let's, let's flick that. Okay. Well, that's lovely. I've now learned battle spin. So that's actually something that has been really cool because what battle spin often does, what battle spin often does is get you out of a pinch either if you're running out of cards or if you found a new enemy that you didn't know how to fight and you don't have the right cards, typically battle spin will actually have some applicable cards. And so you have to get like pretty good at hitting them and sometimes that might cost a lot but it is a really cool like backup plan i guess um i really enjoy it as a mechanic so we'll see how often i have to use it i feel like i probably am going to use it more than average just because i like it <laughs> but it's a cool idea oh incidentally here are your cards back thank you for allowing me to fondle them you had to say it like that. And now I have my cards back. I'll take my leave of you now. Thank you for sharing your one knife battle cards with me. We just found a way. What an odd toad. Whatever. All's well that ends well. Learning about battle spin and getting a mini paint star count as a happy ending in my book. I just wanna just wanna check my status real real quick. Just just real real quick. Port Prisma, 100%. Cherry Lake, 100%. Yes, Ready Rose is still 97. It's fine. We're ignoring that part. We've actually found all of the colorless spots in Port Prisma as well. So let's get ourselves a wonderful um, blue mini paint star. That's exciting. How nice. So where is this one going to take us? Oh. Fascinating. So we've unlocked the Crimson Tower, but we haven't been able to do anything with it yet. Okay, I'm actually going to go back in because there's a few things I've been told. Luigi told me to check out the Harbor District and meet the Ringer, so I need to figure out what that's all about. And um, the Action Toad wanted me to visit him. And then the cafe owner at the Ready Road wanted me to visit him. There's a lot to be done. So this is the way to the Harbor District. I just, I just want to see if today I can spend some time actually unlocking some of the things that this game has to offer. Well, that's new. Um, this didn't open before. Uh, hey, hey man. Haven't seen you around. You're not a cop, right? Because you'd have to tell me if you were. It's the law. Well, let me assure you that I've pretty much acquired most of my goods basically legally, more or less. Not suspicious at all. I provide a service that allows you to take some of your favorite things and give them the old squeeze. They call me the Ringer. Since you're new here, your first squeeze is on us. Now don't worry about the Ringer. I'll be just fine. See, once you get your first squeeze, you never want to let go. You're hooked. That's how I turn a profit. Enough talk. Let's get to squeezing. Uh, so this is a plunger. 
This is again one of those 3D animated items. And so as we've learned, if I squeeze it, I'm gonna get a thing card. Probably a plunger. Thing. Hmm. New. You got plunger. Delightful. Wowza, you sure haven't done this. You sure you haven't done this before? Now don't be a stranger. Come on back whenever you feel the need to squeeze. Oh. Okay. So we've met the ringer. He lets us ring out things. Is 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 basically what I have learned. There is a toad in the garbage can. Um, Oscar the Grouch, I presume? Oh, hello, Mario. Pleased to meet you. I knew you were Mario because I pride myself on knowing things. In addition to knowing things, I also know things. If you catch my drift. Yeah, some people call me a know-it-all, and they should because that's my name. Now, want to know which thing might help you right now? Yeah? You must seek a thing that goes warp. You keep it in your bathroom and you hope you never need it. I have a really special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just the thing for you. I sense one more thing about the thing or things you seek. You already have everything you need right now. Okay. So this is one of the, um, things. <laughs> that word has lost all meaning to me. This is one of the things that I was actually really excited about with this game. Because... In Paper Mario, one of the important things about the RPG is, like, you need to know what you're supposed to do somehow. And so we've just been introduced to, like, the triumvirate of how this game tries to communicate that to you. Because not everything is going to be inherently obvious to every person who plays the game. And so you might struggle at certain points. And we all might struggle at particular points, just depending on how well the game logic flows. And so they've given us three things that are going to help us out here. The first is, there's that dude with the newspaper that you can pay 10 coins to and you can get a hint about something. Then, there's this dude in the trash can. And if you talk to him, he's going to talk to you about thing cards, which are like major item cards. And if you need something, you can sometimes get it at the ringer. So we've already found some like really cool options for how this game kind of wants to communicate to you. Like this is how you're going to be able to do these things. So this toad in the trash can has just told me that I need to find a thing card of something that's kept in the bathroom that goes pork. I'm going to assume because I just rang out a plunger that he's talking about the plunger. And then he said, you already have what you need. And so that's like a way of kind of making me more sure. So, okay. So he's telling me the next thing I'm going to need is a plunger. So as we're exploring, we now have a little bit of a hint as to something that we might have to do or use. Um, technically, we have no idea how to do that yet. I might know, but shh. So that's pretty cool. And I like that. I feel like I'm going to be talking to this toad a lot um, because it is one of the main ways that you can get information in this game. So that was cool. Good visit to the Harbor District. Thanks Ouija for letting me know I should do that, but also thanks Newspaper Guy for letting me know I should do that because they definitely hyped that up. Um, and so then the other thing that we needed to see was Action Toad, but this has changed a little bit. So let's just take a quick... Nice drums. Um, hey there, man. Mario, I was hoping you'd stop by. I'm the commander-in-chief of the Rescue Squad Coalition. The Rescue Squads were formed to help those in need across the land. As the leader of the Coalition, it's my job to keep tabs on each squad. Let me know if I can help you find any of the Rescue Squad members. So we've got like a purple flag up here. I assume that's because we found the purple Rescue Squad leader. And... The purple squad leader told us that we could talk to the dude in HQ if we needed help. So I'm going to assume that's this guy. Here's the latest rescue squad info. I've heard from the purple rescue squad leader. We're still missing three of the purple rescue squad members. Here's a breakdown. Squad members in places you haven't been to yet? Three. Dismissed. Cool. So he's going to give us some hints. 
And basically those hints are going to kind of come down to, like, have I been in a place where I should have found one of these rescue squad members and did I find them? So we know we're looking for three members. And we haven't yet been to places where any of those three members are. That's good to know. That means we haven't missed anything. Okay. So let's go check out Action Toad's house. Because, like, he was really excited. Hmm. That's interesting. So he's really excited because he's found a fire flower. I've watched more kung fu movies than any other toad in the area, so I'm kind of an expert on combat. If you're going to be out there defending yourself from wild goombas and shy guys, you're going to have to learn good timing, and I'm just the toad to help. Let's get started! So, I think I'm pretty good at jump and hammer. Oh, I'm mediocre at block. But, fire flower is kind of new. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, this one's really spicy! So here's the trick. When the fireball forms in your hand, press the A to throw it. If you press the A too early or too late, it'll fizzle into a tiny fail ball, and the attack will end prematurely. But if you keep pressing A at the right time, you can launch up to four fireballs. Okay, that's good to know. So, I love the Goomba cutout. Not bad. So see how it kind of shows the action commands? Excellent! You nailed it! I don't even think I've seen that done in a movie! Okay. I'm gonna say no, because I did nail it. And so we're fine. So if you if you talk to this guy for jumps or hammers or fire flowers, you can actually like get a chance to practice without having to waste cards or fight real enemies, which is nice. But also, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the training. These are the only things you can learn here. Everything else that's different is kind of like building on these basic concepts. Um, and so you don't get to come here to practice anything other than those things, which is really nice. Cool. I can check out the manual. That's nice. Hmm. So I'm a little sad right now because I know that I have all the elements unlocked that I need in order to do a thing that I'm really excited about, but it didn't happen automatically. And so I don't actually know what I'm missing. And that makes me sad because I really want to unlock it. I am excited to unlock it. Oh, hello. There's a purple toad on that roof. Hey, Mr. Purple Toad, you look kind of new. Mario! This here is an important spot for me and my five best friends. Back in the day, the six of us used to gather here to play, tell jokes, sing songs, eat ice cream, you name it. We were the six best friends anyone ever did see. But eventually, we all got busy with our own lives, and we drifted apart. And then out of nowhere, I get this letter from one of my friends. When flowers bloom in our old meeting spot, I'm certain we'll meet again. Did they just cutscene me? Is this valid? It was my old friend Piper who sent me the letter. He never said much, but he had the most magnetic personality. You couldn't help but love him. But it wasn't just a letter that he sent me. There was something else in the envelope. A seed! I'm gonna try planting the seed here, in our old hangout. He said when its flowers bloom, we'll all be able to meet here again. I figure it's worth a shot. Random side quest! Okay, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do with it yet, but, but that, that's nice, that's nice. That's nice. Huh. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to prompt the thing that I know is going to happen that I'm really excited about, but it hasn't happened. Okay. One second. Um, because this is new. And so I'm going to throw it up back with everything else that is new. There's so many new things. Grr. Okay, so the other thing was the dude in the Ruddy Road Cafe who wanted to say hi. 
Oh, cool. Port Prisma now has a yellow flag. So now, this is very cool. I have 100% restored the color of spots in Port Prisma. So I've got the little yellow flag. And also I found both stars in it. So this is actually a complete level. I know it's like also kind of functioning as a hub, but it, it's sort of a level. Um, we have not been to any places apparently where the other Purple Rescue Squad members are, so I can't do much about that. Um, we still have to talk to Justice Toad, and we can't do anything with this because we need to find three mushroom keys. Uh, the, uh, so I'm probably going to uh, pop over here and just talk to the cafe owner, and then I might go give a couple more things to Justice Toad just to see what happens when I do that. Um, but it seems to me as though I might have to go to that, like, blue star part. So once you've cleared a course, you can press plus to exit the course whenever you want. That's just a way of kind of shortening things so that I don't have to run back and forth all the time, I assume. Um, but we know what we're here for. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Just, you know, just card collecting. Just card collecting for whenever I'm going to fight enemies. Sure, I will hit the save brick. It's right here. So the cafe was this way. The rescue squad members were the other way, and I have no assistance to provide for that. Oh my gosh, it's still destroyed. Oh no. Oh, this poor guy. Hey, dude. A customer? Yeah, I haven't had a customer in it. Oh, never mind. It's just you, Mario. Well, that settles it. Time to close up shop and give up on my dreams. Yeah, I guess we did squash all of your clientele. But come to think of it, there was someone looking for a cafe like this. Oh, and isn't that convenient? He's right here. It's the barista from Prisma Cafe. Oh, this place is perfect. No people around at all. This is a real sad mess of a cafe. Hey, would you be interested in switching cafes with me? You could take my cafe in Port Prisma. It's always been my dream to be a suffering cafe owner, just barely scraping by. Uh, what? The, the Prisma Cafe is world famous! You've got customers out the ears! I mean, if you really want this place, then yeah, I'll trade with you. Beautiful! Thanks for telling me about this cafe, Mario. This should cover your finder's fee. Uh, yes, I will take a nice flower. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome! Starting today, I'm the proprietor of the Prisma Cafe! I'm gonna work my stem off. Sorry, stem? Did you just say stem? Hey, get back here, Mr. Toad! Did you just say STEM? I'm very upset. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves an ice flower. You right, King Oops. I mean, that's what I clicked, so. Uh, yes. Yes. Where, uh, mm. I, I, for one, King Enzo, have always been, uh, uh, a proponent of more toads in STEM. Yes, it was a bad joke. Yes, I made it anyway. What of it? <laughs> However, yeah, I am, I am upset. I am upset that this game, <laughs> this game has in, informed us that according to the lore of the Paper Mario universe, Paint is the blood, sweat, and tears of the characters. So if you squeeze them hard enough. And toads have stems. I, d I don't like what we're learning about the anatomy, I guess. I don't, I don't, it makes me uncomfortable. The side being upside down really adds to the dumpy aesthetic. It's perfect. Okay. Okay. That that's cool, man. You know what? We visited the Ruddy Road Cafe. Things happened. Buddy now runs Prisma Cafe and poor Prisma, that's that's great. Good for him. 
and we got a nice flower out of it. So what I'm learning is actually it is worth checking mail because um, listening to, paying attention to, and kind of following those side quests maybe isn't the most important thing in the world, but it did net me a battle card that's pretty cool. And it maybe has also met me something else that I just don't know about yet. So I think those like friends on the roof might end up being really important. Like, I don't know, but we're just, we're just going to engage. Um, and that means I really want to go talk to Justice Toad because I know that I have a vest and a book in, in my, in my like key items. If we, if we look over here, we have Toad's vest and we have a hero's journal. And I, I feel like he might want those things. So let's go check in with him. Say where we're at, because like there isn't really much else I can do in some of these levels. Terrier Lake. Nice. And it also lets us collect more money and cards and probably fight more things and so maybe then lose those cards. But you know, they break just cuz. Just cuz. Okay, I need a jump. Do I have any like bad jumps? Okay, I'll I'll take that. I'll take that. Ta-da! Perfect. Oh, I forgot to check on the battle spot. We've just got a battle spin category up there. That's neat. Do I have a worn out hammer? I have a worn out hammer. Um, except, I think what I'm actually gonna do is this one. Um, because I am not sure. I'm not sure, like I think two hits would be enough. Oh, one might actually be enough. Okay, no, it isn't. Thank goodness. Okay. And I wasn't sure how many other worn out hammers I had, so I, I, I used one of my triples. That's okay. Ooh! Green Shy Guy is not the same as Red Shy Guy. He is also new. 40 out of 99. Guys, I just need to unlock the thing that I'm trying to unlock. I just, I just need to. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, I could fight them, but I think I'm just gonna ignore them. Oh, hello. Oops. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. I think jumping on him should be enough. So, we're gonna try, try jumping on him, I guess. This is fine. Everything, everything's fine. I don't, I don't even, I don't even, why, why would anybody be worried? Okay. So we need to get back to where Justice Toad is. Whee! Yeah, let's, let's grab these guys again. Why not? At least I assume. Maybe this will just be empty. Nope. Hooray, more cards. So, like, there is a store where we can buy cards, and I probably will do that eventually, but not yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for some important features of this game to be introduced. Hello. Thank you. Oh, two of them. Right, that's true. I knew that. So, I can use two of these jump cards. Do I have any? Four. I could use a worn out jump times three, but I don't think I need to. Perfect, that's one. Very nice. 
Okay. We're almost at 900 coins. I love the flute. I love how much flute is in this game. Delightful. Alright, Mr. Koopa Troopa. I honestly can't believe that this guy doesn't turn around and, like, wallop me. Um... Yep. We'll do it like this. Sounds good. Because, like, he just disappears, and I swear this area has a back. But they, like, hadn't introduced that concept yet, I suppose. Okay, and so now I need to go this- Oh, no, but if I go up there- Hold on, don't move too fast. Yes. So I'm- I like collecting special cards. I think there- there seem to be, in each level, like, new cards that I'm running into. So it's pretty important, I think, to remember where those cards are for when I'm replaying the level. Oh, that guy's here. Oh, that guy's here. I'm just gonna ignore them all. And this is where Justice Toad was hanging out. So, hey Justice Toad, would you like your shirt back, please? Ah, yes! That's my legendary chest armor, the Hyper Fabulous Jacket! Uh, it's just a normal vest, man. Huey, I'm gonna need you to stop being so down on Justice Toad, because, like, he's the coolest. Ah, my heroic journal! That's, uh, just something I was doodling in. Don't worry about it! Ta-da! Behold my super justice suit! Now, stand back, citizen! Justice Toad, savior of Prism Island, has returned to crush evildoers! This is getting embarrassing. Don't hesitate to light the justice signal if you're in need of help. Nothing lies beyond the reach of the long arm of justice. <laughs> you're a hoot. Though I guess we actually do need some help right now. There's a blue mini paint star nearby that we just can't reach. Got anything up your sleeve? It, he doesn't have sleeves, B. What? Someone actually wants my help? Ahem, <laughs> I mean... Sounds like a job for Justice Toad! Let's go! Do you know what I like about this chat? I like subtlety. And what he said was, the long arm of justice, and the blue star is out of reach, so maybe the long arm of justice can help us. Let's go see! Uh, this way. Followed by collecting these coins because we can, followed by this way, and then, and then we, then we hit this, yeah, another special hammer, and then, uh, we're gonna go this way, hey look, he's there, we can see him right at the top of the screen, just, just over there, he was just his toad, Hey, Mr. Justice Toad, can you help us? You needed someone to help with this star, right? It certainly is a little far out there, but don't worry, this star is no match for the power of justice. Um, right. Look, this whole superhero thing is cute and all, but... Stand back! Justice! Okay, we don't have time for this. <laughs> Later, Justice Boy. This game knows it's a Paper Mario game. <laughs> what? That thing? You moved the paint star? Whoa! I actually did it. 
I mean, I wish Jelly hard, but I didn't think I actually had superpowers. So, I really am the hero. <laughs> Incredible. And it also seems you're part unicorn. Although your horn is kind of crooked. I really thought you were just a crazy person. But wait a sec. Your horn. It's the same shape as one of the keyholes in the gate to the Crimson Tower. Who wrote this game and what were they on? I don't know, but I am here for it. This toad has magical justice powers and is also a key. And has a stem, apparently. We've learned some things we didn't want to know. Mr. Justice, your powers may be needed at the Crimson Tower. The Crimson Tower, huh? It's close enough to walk, but forget that. I've got superpowers now. Justice takes flight. End cutscene. No further explanation needed, right? Right. Obviously. No further explanation needed. I think. Um, so yeah, that was a level. We figured out how to get the blue paint star. Cool. Interesting. just want to double check because I don't actually know what I need to do to unlock this and I'm hoping I don't need to like get the first big paint star but I might have to Chad I'm not getting the cutscene I want I'm scared it's fine, though. Okay. We'll get there one day. It just might have to be Thursday. Uh, so I have unlocked two new levels. I uh, can't do the thing I want to do in Port Prisma. I can't do anything else in Ready Road. And I can't yet do anything else in the Crimson Tower. But we found a toad key. So I guess we keep going. Because we have the plunger we've been told we need, so we've got the Indigo Underground, and we've also got something on the other side of it that I didn't walk around to. But we unlocked this one first, so let's try this one first. I'd, 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 I don't even know. Huh. On a hill, eh? Nice. You're gonna tear my legs off. Can't you find another way to get me out of here? With some sort of suction device or something? So, Chad, I literally just started this level and I was like, there's a pipe here, let's go in. But no, no. This game this game says no. But I've been told to unclog a pipe. And this is very interesting. Because I was told in the harbor district that I was gonna need a plunger. And I also happen to have a plunger, is right here. But like I'm not in combat right now. So what do I do? I don't actually know if this is gonna give me a hint, but yeah. This took me a long time to figure out the first time because I uh, did not check my hints. This is why you should always check your hints, chat. Huh, that wall behind the pipe looks suspicious. Well, when in doubt, cut it out! 
So Huey is also a lovely hint giver in this game. And we can pretty clearly see that there's some straight lines right here. This like purple thing is really suspicious. Okay, so I'm gonna stand behind the pipe. There we go. But this is interesting because this is a rectangle. It's not like a series of straight lines. And so this looks more like when we cut out that area with the cards than when we like cut out the mountain. So let's just chop that. Ah, you're using cutout. Great. Let me tell you a little bit about how this works. After you cut out a card-shaped hole, you can place one of your cards in the empty slot in the landscape. Choose the right card and something strange and wonderful might happen. Choose the wrong card and nothing will happen. Plus you'll lose the card. Good luck. So we're being told to put a card in there and we're being told it's a plunger. So I'm gonna stick my plunger in there. I'm gonna paint it up. Oh good, this is a cutscene. Raise your hand if you're uncomfortable. I don't like that music. Ugh. Yeah, same. Please tell me you washed that plunger before using it on me. Sorry, I thought my training prepared me for this. Anyway, I'm the leader of the Green Rescue Squad. Pleased to meet you. We received reports of trouble deep in the Indigo Underground, so we rushed here as quickly as we could. But we got ambushed as soon as we arrived, and my six squad members were all separated. It was bad. We got flattened, creased, folded, crinkled, ripped, torn, you name it. I got stuffed in this pipe like a little green spitball, and I'm the leader. This might come as a shock, but I need you to rescue my six squaddies. So, the rescue squad needs to be rescued. This happens to you a lot, huh, Mario? Yes, silly it does. Silly Sammy, he is now following. Thanks for the follow there, Silly Sammy. I love the callout for all of these games. This happens to you a lot, huh, Mario? Yes, yes, Huey, yes it does. No one can solve problems in this universe except Mario. But if the mini paint star led us here, there must be another paint star in this cave. Let's go check it out. Okay. <laughs> and we still can't go in the pipe. <laughs> I truly love that. That is such a great moment. Um, but it is only one shot, guy. That's not a very serious fight. Let's just swish him. That was one of those guards who attacked us. There's more inside. Be careful. I'm going to go on ahead. I've got to get to the rendezvous point. Oh, I see. So you knew he was in that pipe, which is why you didn't go in before I tried going in. Huh? 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 Rescue squad leaders, am I right? So right. Ooh, pretty atmosphere. Oh. Listen to the tone on that flute, chat. This is beautiful. Wow, okay. So we've had um, Color Splash's rehashing of the original Mario theme, which was in Ready Road, the first level that we go into. This is their rehashing of the underground theme and it is gorgeous. Um, however, these shy guys are definitely doing something and I don't approve of it. So I'm just gonna uh, beat them up real quick. If it's all the same to everyone else, you know. I wonder if I can do it with one hammer. I actually don't have very many hammers. Got a lot more jumps. Well, let's try this hammer. Let's see what it does. <gasps> it 
it wasn't enough. Oh well. We'll use a jump on this guy then. I wasn't sure if the hammer would take him out or not, and as it turns out, the answer is no. And that's okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna knock him out now. Lovely. No perfect bonus, but that's okay. Huh. The thing they were throwing around is now hopping up and down. I can talk to it. They crumbled me up without a second thought, like I was just some fast food receipt. Toe number one of the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain's location immediately. We've rescued one member of the Scattered Rescue Squad. Five more to go. Fascinating. So we've met the Purple Rescue Squad leader, but we haven't met any of the Rescue Squad members, and it feels a bit like this level is kind of... Ooh, Spike Helmet. This level is kind of teaching us how to rescue Rescue Squad members, I guess? I'm just going to tuck the Spike Helmet back here, don't mind. It's fine. Oh, okay. And we have moving rocks. Well, lovely. So, another spike helmet. Another spike helmet! Okay. And I definitely see a green toad right up here. And a bunch of little swoop guys over there. This is... Get out of here, Mario! Don't talk to me! I'm standing sideways so that swoop up there can't see me! Okay. Can I... can I fight him? Okay, I can fight him. This is important. So that is a... that is a swoop, apparently. Um, I bet I can't reach it with a hammer, because it is not on the ground. <clears throat> and those are the typical Paper Mario rules. Thankfully, I can jump on it. So, good goodbye, Swoop. Yeah. Mario, don't talk to... Oh, yeah, the Swoop's gone. My tactic worked. Toad number two of the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Four left. Okay. I just... Do I, do I, do I get to fight these guys? Hello? I didn't mean to get the hearts. I was trying to like make contact with the scrupulas, but this is, this is fine. I don't know how many, actually. I don't know how many hits these guys are gonna take when it's four and out jumps. I know that a regular jump knocks out one. So we're gonna play it safe and we're gonna store up two war and out jumps for each of them. And we're probably gonna end up wasting a card as a result, but that's fine. So we do need to hit them at least three times each with a worn out jump. So I am gonna waste a card, but I'm okay with that. Delightful. Cool. So I didn't get that hard, or at least I haven't yet. Aww. Darn. Didn't really want to. Well, that's fascinating. Nice. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. So that was a thing that wasn't working because it didn't have its color. Let's go up here, though, just in case there's something up here that I'm supposed to care about or, or, or do. Oh, yeah, yeah, getting some yellow paint. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so now we know. We have done this with a 
single triple jump before, so let's see if we can do it again. Good start. And so we've also learned that our wallet's a little bigger in this game. It doesn't end at 900 or er, 99 coins because we have over a thousand right now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Very interesting. So this is a bit of a dead end, but it looks as though this doesn't just go up and down. I can also go in. I like that you can see things like that as you're trying to like solve some of the color problems. Okay, that is not a cutout, even though it is some straight lines. We've learned. I want to get to that spot on the wall. I will wait here. There is something stuck there? No. No? Okay. But here. Yeah. Ooh, that is a big colorless spot. Below. Oh, not quite enough. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Cool. Oops, I did not mean to start that with a hammer. I thought I pressed A. Here's my strategy. It might not be a good strategy. I think I have to jump on him once to get him to retreat into his shell. Yes. And then I can jump on him a second time to send him flying away. Okay, so my strategy was correct. I, I was not misunderstanding what I was supposed to be able to do. That's good to know. Oh boy, that is a big, that's a, that's a big colorless spot on the ground right there. Ooh. We have a slurp guy. So thankfully we also have a shelled enemy. Bye bye Mr. Slurp guy. I'm doing all right with red and blue colors, but my yellow is getting wrecked. There is not a lot of yellow in this level for me to collect. Which is unfortunate. I need this yellow, sir. Stop being so mean. Oh, how clever. Oh, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna use a worn out jump again. So I think I stole this guy. Yeah. I love this because I can jump on the shell enemy to send it flying, but it's not gonna hit the swoop. Because the swoop isn't on the ground. And so, I still need to plan a strategy that allows me to attack the second enemy, which is cool. I could have done that with two jumps. I didn't have to use a worn, worn out jump triple, but. I find the worn out jump triples to be less helpful, I think, than having two independent jumps. Um, I got a Buzzy Beetle card. I'm just gonna go uh, tuck it back here. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 
so much. So much color. What's my status, actually? I like checking these things obsessively. Only 40% colored. Wow. But I definitely see where the green rescue toads are supposed to be. So that's good to know. But we don't have them all yet. Hello? So we need to find a bunch more of those. He's here by himself. Okay. Jump it is. I feel like half of my cards right now I'm keeping for secret reasons and I just want to be able to divest myself of them so that I can start like actually collecting things properly the way that I'm supposed to. So let's jump on this guy, why not? I like the idea of using up some of our hammer cards, I think. So we seem to have a few of those. Let's use some more of these. Okay. Nice. Okay, only two greats, but that's fine. It was enough to get a perfect. So we're good, we understand. Everything is fine. And, oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is gonna cost me so much paint. Chat, this whole bridge needs to be covered. Yeah, oh, I got two fire flowers for doing that. Well, that's fantastic. But boy, am I sorely in need of some yellow, please. Any, any time, any time you want to give me some yellow game? Oh, hello. Okay. Mmm, fire flowers are delightful. Okay. I'm gonna use a jump that already is painted in. Because I'm really running out of yellow paint. a little bit, but not very much. I cannot jump high enough for this guy. Okay. It's fine. Um. Okay, so I see a toad. That's that's, that's that's good. Good good that we can see him. Might as well save, since we're here. Um. Oh, there's another toad. Um, we, we removed the tape. You, you can come down now, if, if you want to. Thanks, mate! Gross! My face is all sticky from that tape! I'm gonna go wash my face off. Well, not wash my face off. That would be horrifying. Toad number three of the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty! Okay, so we found the third one. That's good. Um... There is, uh, there are some shy guys over there, and I can't get to them, currently. But there's also some shy guys over here. Okay, let's just, let's just get me some. Oops. Not the one I wanted. That's okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine, chat. You know, we're just, we're doing good. Oh, no, 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 I can't use that much yellow. Okay, well, we'll use a jump that's already painted, because that's too much yellow. I really need more yellow paint. <laughs> okay, he did not have any yellow paint on him. That's fine. 
Nice. Uh oh. Okay. So we still have to fight them. Um. Good to know, I guess. So I only have six possible jumps um, to create with worn out jumps. So I think I'm also gonna use a fire flower and we we're gonna see what we can do. Because that theoretically should give me seven attacks. If I can execute it perfectly. Nice. Bam. That is the most enemies. We have one hit KO'd in a single turn. Mario behind you! Uh, is what I was gonna say. But, but I kind of froze up. My, my bad. Turn number four, reporting for duty. <laughs> Chad, do you see the giant lemon right there? Do, do you see the giant lemon there? I see a giant lemon there. That is a lemon. That is, that is a three-dimensionally animated lemon. I just, I, I just, oh cool. I'm about to get my yellow back. I like it. I do like when you get a max paint up that it also refills all of your paint. Um, so there's a giant lemon up. I really just want to get up there. We need to find these rescue squad members. Cool. More, more yellow. Why is it so quiet here? It's so quiet here. You can hear the soft water flowing. Oops, wrong direction. But it's so quiet oh something is happening behind that waterfall do y'all hear the creepy music okay i'll stand here because i hear some creepy music Oops. Want me to go the other way. Whoopsies. That is in fact a shy guy attacking attacking a green rescue squad member. We should do something about that, like for real. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Red Slurp guy. I'm gonna need you to stop. Okay, we we fixed we fixed our severe yellow situation, so we can use some. Delightful. Huh? Where am I? I was sure I'd be by end behind that waterfall. I'd about give it up. Hey, you tell me if I were a ghost, right? Toe number five, reporting for duty. Nice. We're only missing one more, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think these bridges are fine. Yeah, these bridges look fine. I'm still looking for colorless spots. I don't think I can reach that one. Chat, the music has turned really scary. I don't like it. What is happening? I need, I need, I need to get up there. Okay. This is like extra creepy. Oh, another fire flower. That's nice. There's a swoopy look card there, but I can't, can't, I can't get up to these things.
I'm actually just going to real quick make a little switcheroo in my cards. Because I have a fire flower back here. But I'm pretty sure that the fire flower that I have back here is one that has color already. Yeah. So I'm just going to um, bring this guy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just, just making decisions. Um, so there's definitely a that way. But there is also a this way. I'm going to avoid that heart for now because I don't really need it. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. Okay. Sure. So. Well, I can get over here. I think if I fall down here, I might land where I want to land. Yes. Perfect. Okay. But that didn't give me that one, so that's the first area, I think. So if I then jump down the wrong way again, and then we can go explore further to the right. Again, I'm going to skirt the heart, because I do not need it. Oh! And I'm going to get a heart anyway, because that was what was in that block. So I've got a swoop. We're just going to tuck him all the way back. It's almost like there's a pattern here. <laughs> okay. So now we go this way. Very nice. Another fire flower. Love it. Love to see it. I'm hearing creepy music again. I don't like creepy music. I don't like this. Ooh! Oh, I hate it! Oh, Mario, I'm with you on the running away! What is a shunned guy? Oh, this is the worst. Not fire, anything but fire? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for your help, mister. Please don't, please don't look at me like that. Oh my gosh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate the music. I hate this fight. I hate this everything. But it is vitally important, Chet, that you read your screen. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay, um, let's fix this toad. I can't remember anything. My mind's a blank sheet. But I do remember one thing. Toad number six of the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Oh, I also remembered this. Take it, it might come in handy. Cool. One up mushroom. Boom! We rescued the whole rescue squad. All six of them. Alright, let's get back to the leader. Yeah, thanks, Huey. Great hint. But I have something I want to check on first. So there are little explanations. Refills your paint reserves. Okay, so that's what a one up mushroom does. That is good to know. So it doesn't give me um, an additional life, per se. But we'll just tuck it at the back there. That would have been really important. And I still don't need that heart. So we'll go this way, why not? Uh, never mind. There are a whole bunch of swoopulas that way now. This game changes things. You walk around. It's a little disconcerting. But that's fine. It's fine. We've rescued all of the rescue squad members. See, look, there's just swoopulas there now. I'm just gonna go. We don't, we don't need to fight them. Whoop. We do need to fight him though. Them. Okay, well, you know what, soggy guys? I think I am not in the mood for this. So we'll try this. Why is everything so blurry?
So this is kind of interesting because the purple rescue squad leader is at a different level than the purple rescue squad toads. Because like the HQ guy said we hadn't been to the level that we needed yet. But all of the green rescue squad members were in this one level. And so like that was sort of explained to us because that's what the, the leader said was they were all here. But that's still just really interesting to me. How are we doing with our status? 91%, okay, not awful. Also, there are three stars in this one? That is a lot of stars. We're gonna have to play, replay this level a few times, Chet. Not today, of course, but let's see what happens and how long it takes us to get to the end. Okay, um, ooh, a yellow one. That's interesting. Hello. And I'm Mate 7, all president accounted for. Green Rescue Squad, commence Operation Toad Bridge. All units to your positions. Amazing. Mission accomplished. Um, so this is fantastic. You rescued us, even though we should be the ones doing the rescuing. Feel free to walk on us as hard as you want. Really go to town. I'm serious. Our bond is stronger than any weight. There's just no way we'll collapse. We'll see about that. Oh my gosh, random shy guys. Oh my gosh, this is so rude. They were trying so hard, Shy Guys. I'm gonna fight you. Um, so there's a couple ways that I think I could do this. This might be my preferred way. Let's try a three worn out hammers card. I only needed two of them. Nice. Oh my gosh, this poor set of rescue squaddies, they're just like, hanging on by a thread. But I need them to be a bridge, I can't get across up here without them! I'm not lying, but my blowers! Contact! Squatty three, Squatty number three snows has been invaded by water, requesting backup. There we go. Poor Squatty three. My sinuses are on fire, sir, but I'll be okay. It'll take more than physical force to break our bonds of unity. <laughs> the rescue squad toes are a delight. Justice Toad is still my favorite, but the rescue squaddies are, are pretty great. Okay, so several things are going on right here. Um, we've got ourselves a cutout, which I am noticing just above this door. We have a yellow uh, mini paint star to our left. And so we can potentially peel, peel this off. Ooh, that's new. Little red hammer there. And it is indeed new. So we're just gonna say it with me now. Tuck that one at the back. Yeah. Um, I can peel this off, I can go that way. Or that is a lemon. Okay, so I am gonna peel this. Because I think that matters. Hello, but I'm also apparently going to uh, crush that cardboard. That's nice. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh, I missed. It's just so rude. I missed. Awkward. But that is also okay. 
because I think I made myself a different way up using this lemon. Yeah, I can just go up this way now. I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna try to deal with this lemon for a little bit here. Just, just you know, just real quick. Um, but in order to do that well, yeah, let's just use a warm up drum. Let's see if three is enough for two scope guys. Cause I'm actually not sure. Oh good, it is. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna fix this, but, but like, let's just squeeze a lemon, why not? Like, I cannot understate how weird the storyline of this game is and how here for it I am. This is a lemon, adds a little zest to any meal. Okay, well it's new, let's just tuck it at the back. Let's see what's this way. Oh, hey! Just, just another paint star back here. Don't mind me. There's just a blue paint star over here, the yellow paint star over there. Okay, why not? How am I at colorization right now? What's my status? 97%. I have missed something. I don't know what or where. I missed something. Oh, cool. Uh, yes, please. I will take that line jump. Again, new card. Let's just tuck it at the back. I literally can't use most of the cards that I have in my hand because they're new and I want to do things with them that are like things I can't explain to you guys yet. But I at least see two paint stars, and that's good to know. Can I go this way? Okay, I can't go that way. Can I go past this guy over here? No, I can't. So I've got a blue one, and I've got a yellow one, and there's supposed to be three in this course, so I think I'm still missing one of them. But that's fine. We'll, we'll get this. Oh, how interesting. That little token was not a coin. Fascinating. So a letter has arrived in Port Prisma. Great to know. Thrilled. Oh, there's only two in the Indigo Underground. Never mind. We know where both of them are. We're fine. And a Roshan Bow Temple has appeared. So I'm going to have to take you guys on the tour of this. Um, for anyone who doesn't know the context, Roshan Bow is the uh, Japanese name for the Rock, Paper, Scissors game, essentially. Uh, Roshan Bow being the three syllables that you would typically say when you're throwing instead of Rock, Paper, Scissors, which is what we would say in English. So there's a rock, paper, scissors temple. We're gonna have to learn about that. Um, we have Blue Bay Beach that we haven't even been to. We've missed a spot in Indigo Underground, but also there's a whole other paint star there that we found and just didn't get because we picked up the other one instead. Um, we're still missing squatties over here. We're still missing two toad keys. I'm just gonna go check my mail, you know? I'm just gonna go check my mail and see what is up with that. Cause there's just so many things to do in this game and I honestly love it. And while we're here, we might hang out at the harbor again and, and go talk to that toad in the trash and see if he has a different suggestion for us. Um, because he told us we needed to use the plunger and we have. And so probably the next thing we need is a different thing? 
Mr. Mario, thank you for showing me your illustrious card collection the other day. Since you possess such a magnificent collection, I was wondering if you might help me out with something. I await you in the Action Command Dojo in the Yellow District, the Card Connoisseur Toad. Chad, I am so excited about this. I finally get to show you the thing that I have been anticipating. So that guy in the window up there, who leapt out on us and checked out our cards, now we've like played a couple more levels, found a few new friends. I'm just gonna hit the save brick because I'm mildly obsessive about saving. He's extended us an invitation. And it's very important to me that we answer that invitation. So let's just pop over to Action Toad's house. We've been there before. We learned how to use fire flowers there. It was very helpful for the shunned guy. I, I appreciate the practice. But let's see what's up. Hmm. This is new. Ah, Mr. Mario, how splendid that you have the good sense to entertain my offer. Follow me, please. Come this way. Uh, wait, a secret door? What's with all this high-tech stuff just sitting around in a crummy storage room? This is weird. But I'm thinking it could be good weird. Let's check it out. Why are you just shaking behind the Goomba there? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I've spent long years of my life designing and constructing this place in order to document the history and culture of Prism Island. Welcome, friends, to a little place that I like to call Prism Museum. Beautiful music. An underground museum? This be must be one of those super snobby art places that no one knows about. Au contraire, my friend. My mission is to make our collection as accessible as possible. Even a common undergraduate art student should be able to appreciate. There's just one tiny thing. I don't actually have anything to display as of yet. And having seen your collection of battle cards, my dear Mario, I feel we would be in rather good hands if you chose to donate. Sounds like it's for a good cause. Plus, Port Prisma is my hometown. It'll be nice to visit the museum when I'm old and reminisce about our adventure. Splendid! I knew I could count on someone with such a fine taste in battle cards. With that, please allow me to give you the grand tour. The three blue doors in front of you are card galleries displaying battle cards. From left to right, the blue doors contain basic cards, enemy cards, and thing cards. If you have cards that you can donate to a room, the star above the door will light up. Note, chat, they are all glowing. To donate a card, simply enter the room and follow the toad's instructions. Moving on, the red door to the left leads to the art exhibit. The more cards you donate, the more pieces we'll be able to add to each exhibit. Finally, the green door to the right leads to the sound exhibit. You'll be able to populate it with sounds by complete, completely repainting courses. Ask the guide toad in each exhibit for more information, or ask me if you'd like to know about the state of the overall collection. I can't thank you enough for your assistance. Take care. My, my, you've been busy with the old paint hammer. Well, don't think we haven't noticed. Thanks to your fine efforts, we've been able to procure some records for the sound gallery. So chat. This is our introduction to the concept of 100%ing Paper Mario Color Splash. Because it isn't enough to just get the six flags in the Port Prisma main area. There are those achievements, but also there is an art collection, a sound collection, three card galleries. We need to complete them. This is my mission with Color Splash and with my stream of Color Splash is the need to complete all of these galleries. And so, this is why I have been obsessively putting cards at the back. Because when I get a new card for the first time, when it displays new, that means the museum is not going to have it because I can't have donated it. So the easiest way to know what I need to donate 
is instead of checking back here every time, just storing those cards in the back. Hoping I don't miss any. Maybe we'll have to go back and find some more eventually. But I should have a good chunk of cards to give away at this point. So let's talk to this guy. Here are the cards you can donate from your current inventory. This is basic cards, remember. Oh my goodness. There are so many of them. Because instead of using these cards, I have been saving them. We're just gonna do it up. We're gonna like empty our hands. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hello, KO Hammer. I would like, I would like you in here. Just all of them. All of these cards. All of these cards need to need to be in the museum. It's it's vitally important to me that we, we get all of these cards into the museum if we can. How'd we do? Wow, so many new ones. Mushroom one up mushroom spike helmet, ice flower. All sorts of lovely things. Fire flower. And if you tap it, it like displays for you. How pretty. How nice is that? And you can check its details. Lovely. Ooh. And they've got them kind of sorted. So that's useful to know. But there are six pages of cards here. That's a lot. That's a lot to do. Hello, I have respect. And that's not even dealing with the enemy cards and the thing cards at this point, chat. This is absolutely insane. 60 basic cards, we have donated 16 of them. That is a hefty start. Hefty, hefty start. But it wasn't just basic cards that I have been storing, because we also have some enemy cards. So into the enemy gallery we go. We have a red shy guy, we have a green shy guy, we've got a Koopa Troopa, Mr. Swoop here, and we've got ourselves a Buzzy Beetle. That's five. Five enemy cards. That's a very good start. Oops. No. No, I don't. I pressed A too fast. That's, that's my, that's my one weakness. So what have we got here? Five out of 72. I do not know how to accomplish this because as far as I can tell, the enemy cards are random drops and I have no idea how to actually like deal with that. Um, but it's fine. And then here we have our thing cards. Uh, so we've got a fan and we have a lemon, but we don't have the plunger anymore because we had to use it before we unlocked the museum. So we're gonna have to get another plunger which we're probably gonna have to pay for. Um, and we now no longer have the fan or the lemon thing, but that's okay. So how many of these have we got? We've got two out of 27. So there's 60 basic cards, 72 enemy cards, and 27 thing cards. And we need to collect them all. And I do not, I, do, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try. Um, and then importantly enough, oh, it's really quiet in here. We know we've unlocked some things. So we have entirely colorized Port Prisma and Cherry Lake. We haven't finished Ruddy Road. We're still missing an area that we can't get to without the Purple Rescue Squad. We didn't succeed at Indigo Underground. We missed a spot, so we're gonna have to go find that. And we can't even get into the Crimson Tower. But if I click this, I get to play records of all of the music. Straw of Doom! Isn't it delightful, chat? So this is one of the things that we get to unlock as we do our colorization. We get to listen to all of the beautiful level music. Everything that was put in that level now goes in our sound gallery. And that is 
pretty glorious, in my opinion. So this is just the delightful little gallery of extras, and me being me, I really want all of them. I want all of the extras. And this is the thing that I was waiting. I was so excited about eventually unlocking this. This allows me to use a very cool feature. Look, I only have 25 cards left. Um, so I can actually use the sort feature now and it's not gonna mess up my sorting of putting everything at the end. So I have a couple mushroom cards, a couple spike helmets, I've got some flowers, I've got some hammers, some jump cards, and a couple of enemy cards that are left over because these are duplicates. And so we can figure out what those do next time maybe. But 25 cards is not a lot of cards. And I need to go back into the Indigo Underground, find myself a spot that I missed. There's so much to do, chat. Um, but I have already been streaming longer than I intended to. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pop over to this little save brick over on the other side in the blue district. And we're going to save our game because we have just donated a lot of cards. We just gave away like more than 20 cards. And it's important. We're going to save twice. We're going to save twice because I want to be careful. I want to be careful. I want to not forget what I'm doing. And then we're going to have to find a friend to raid. So as I said, chat, I'm going to be done for today. Um, I'm going to call it a day and be finished with stream for today, but I will be streaming again this week on Thursday, again at the same time, um, 9.30 a.m. EDT is when I'm planning to start. I'm hoping next week I'm going to be able to get back into my afternoon time slot, um, which is kind of a more normal time slot for me, but like I said last time with my work schedule, this week mornings are what I had. So speaking of needing to get ready for work, I'm going to go ahead, make myself some lunch and do that. Um, but thanks everybody who tuned in and who wanted to hang out for a little bit. Uh, for those who just kind of dropped by and who are enjoying the game with me, I am loving it. And so I'm really hoping that you guys are too. Um, so my plan is because it's been a hot minute since we've gone to visit them. Um, we're going to send a raid over to Kemixiel, who is playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Um, Kemi's doing a challenge right now where she's going to be beating the whole game using only the evolutions. And so at the moment, it looks as though she's working on getting herself a Vaporeon. And I think that's a really cool idea. I happen to love Pokemon too. I'm just generally a Nintendo fangirl, as y'all know if you are here for very long. Um, but hopefully I can take some of you with me. We can go on a little visit to Kemi, and I hope that you enjoy your time with her. And hopefully I'll also get to see some of you guys back on Thursday. Uh, but for now, have yourselves a wonderful day, wonderful afternoon, wonderful evening, wonderful whatever your time zone is, because time is a weird soup. And um, yeah, just enjoy yourselves and be excellent. Bye!